another ants on a rock video welcome to the ant corner today i'm setting up a stick insect enclosure for my indian stick insects i'm sure i'll make some mistakes so i've got myself some bramble it's nothing special it's just come straight out of the garden and been rinsed over just once so the first thing to do was to take these branches and split them up I needed to cut off some of these bottom leaves and make it nice, clean and fairly straight down towards the bottom end of the stems. Next, I'm going to need a jar of water. I fill it most of the way to the top so it doesn't topple, and then cover the top of the jar with tin foil or cling film, something tight. This will ensure that your stick insects don't fall into it and drown. I then make a little pierced hole through the top so I can start placing in some of these branches. And then it's really just a matter of flower arranging, poking them in, trying to get them to stand sort of upright so they don't lean about all in the enclosure. So there, I think I've done quite a good job there. It looks all right and it's standing nice and tall. So this is the enclosure I got. It's fairly cheap and bought from Amazon. It's netted on three sides with a clear plastic on the other. I've got this old aquarium log that I'm gonna to use to weight it down in this corner. mainly just to prevent it from toppling in any direction when I'm working inside. The next step is to get some toilet roll or newspaper, something easy to cover the bottom. You can use substrate, but with the eggs landed in the substrate, you won't always find them as they are quite dark and black. So I've measured it out as three squares of toilet roll. So I've doubled it up, so I get six, fold it over, so it's three doubled over. And I then just continuously line the enclosure floor. At this stage, I needed to put the brand in. I wanted to be extra careful, and I will be every time I do this. I'll be changing it every, probably every three days to a week, depending on how the bramble looks. Remember, it is in water, so it's going to stay hydrated and fairly fresh, just that little bit longer. So, I want these pointing up nice and straight, without much of a risk of them leaning against the sides of the enclosure and possibly causing tears. These are brambles at the end of the day, so they've got thorns on them. I have got thornless blackberry bushes coming so that I can grow them and feed my stick insects and other bugs that will be featured on this channel on my own plants. I know they will not be sprayed with pesticides and they've been grown in organic materials under a controlled environment. So these are the stick insects I've got. 
I got them off someone in the local area. They put them in this container covered by a little bit of cling film. There's six of them in total, one large, one small, and four sort of medium size. They were a little bit pesky and didn't really want to come out of the container. But I managed to get them all in in the end with a little bit of coaxing with my fingers. I was obviously super gentle when dealing with them. I wouldn't want to hurt them or damage them in any way. And they're quite small and fragile in this state. But I assure you, I was very careful. The last thing I needed to do was to give it a bit of a misting. Now hindsight, I probably should have done this before adding the stick insects, but to be honest, after today they're going to be in the enclosure anyways, so it doesn't make a difference. And here they are in all their glory, happily sat on all the different branches, and they seem to be enjoying their new life. So my little stick insects, welcome to the ant corner. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, follow my pages for future updates. See you again Ant fans.